Hello everyone, I'm Ivan Calandra and I'm a recommender, which is similar to editor at PCI Registered Reports, and I will try to convince you that this journal could be very useful for experimental archaeology. You all know experiments are time and cost intensive, so it would be interesting and important to make sure that the experimental design is sound and appropriate before conducting the experiments. But how do we do that? This is where registered reports could help because the experimental design is peer-reviewed and pre-accepted before conducting the experiments. This means that you get feedback before you run the experiment, before it's too late. This feedback can help you, for example, to design the experiment in a more appropriate way to test the hypothesis or to avoid pitfalls that you had not thought about. One requirement for this process is to report the experimental design in enough details so that it can be assessed. Our workflow tool will help with this task, as I explained in my previous poster, 6p6. Also important is that peer review and pre-acceptance are independent of the results, so only the questions and the methods count. In turn, this means that negative results are as good as positive ones in a registered report. PCI stands for Peer Community In. As all PCIs, a PCI registered report is completely free for authors and readers. The process of publishing registered reports is a bit different, so let me explain you how it works. The process is split into two stages. In the first stage, the authors submit a manuscript that contains the research questions, theory and hypothesis, experimental design, analytical methods and plans, basically the introduction and material and methods. The stage one manuscript is reviewed according to specific criteria that do not include potential impacts of the results. If the peer review is positive, the authors get an in-principle acceptance, again, regardless of the outcomes. Only then can the authors run the experiments or conduct the research and write the final stage two manuscript. It includes the introduction and methods virtually unchanged from the stage one manuscript, but also the results and discussion, which are of course new. Everything in open access, including the data. The stage two manuscript is reviewed again, but in that case, the design will not be reviewed. What will be reviewed is the compliance to the design and whether the conclusions are supported by the data. Then the manuscript is accepted. If the review is positive, you could stop there. You have a recommendation and it can be cited and counted as an article. Alternatively, you could also choose to submit your recommended manuscript to the Peer Community Journal or to one of the PCI Registered Reports friendly journals that won't require another round of review. You could also, of course, choose any journal. In that case, you would probably have to go through another round of review. The process for publishing a registered report is therefore a bit more complicated, but there are many benefits. The first ones I mentioned already is that peer review happens before you conduct your study, so you get feedback when you really need it. And also you get an in-principle acceptance that does not depend on the results, but only on your ideas and on how you intend to conduct the experiments. Again, negative results are as relevant as positive ones. There are other benefits specific to PCI registered reports. The first one is called programmatic registered reports, where one stage one manuscript can lead to several stage two manuscripts. This could be very interesting in case of large experimental programs where you would publish several articles from a single experimental program. Scheduled review helps to speed up the review process. You announce it that you will submit a stage one manuscript at a given date and the recommender will arrange with the reviewers so that they are ready at that date. The recommenders passed an entrance test, meaning they have qualified to be recommenders. Also, the peer review is undertaken independently of any journal, so there is no influence of the scope of the journal. At the end, the authors have the power to decide their destination journal, if any, of course, if the manuscript is recommended. Finally, in terms of open science, it's the peer reviews are published online and free to read, the data must be open, and it's diamond open access, meaning it's free for authors and readers. I hope I could convince you that PCI registered reports could be very valuable for experimental archaeology, and we welcome your contributions. Thank you for your attention.